Hi Stampers, this is Rose Grunewald coming at you from my stamp room here in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I have a video tutorial for you on this gorgeous watercolor card. So, I actually posted this card on my blog last week. And in that blog I have a step-by-step -step tutorial with all of the dimensions um, that you need to make this card. So for that information you can go to my blog and that's countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. Alright, I have everything pre-made just so we can move through this quickly here. I've got my card base, um, some designer series paper from the a Little Foxy DSP stamp set and my vellum. I also pre-cut the Dragonfly Dreams Thinlet. And I've got my watercolor paper pre-cut and I have already uh, pre-embossed it with white embossing powder. Um, we're going to be using the emboss resist technique today to do our watercolor. So we're going to get started right away. The stamp set I'm using here is from the Occasions Catalog, Happy Celebrations. And the um, Happy that I embossed is this one here that it kind of reminds me of brush strokes. I really wanted something almost shabby chic um, with a look to my card. And so I like that this isn't really fully filled in here. And that's why I decided to use that. Now, like I said, this is white embossed, and we're going to be using this splatter stamp from the set to go over it in our colors. Now, the colors I've chosen for this card are a little different than the one that was on my blog. Um, I'm going to be using Calypso Coral, Pool Party, um, and Peekaboo Peach. And I chose these colors because they coordinate so well with that designer series paper. Specifically, the Pool Party and Calypso Coral um, are the two colors in the piece from the DSP that I've chosen. Uh, but I thought that the Peekaboo Peach would bring out just another kind of tone. So what I'm going to do is just ink up my stamp here. Okay, so I've got it inked up and you can kind of turn it how you want. I'm just going to go over those words and I want this to be balanced out with that same color here. So I just stamped that twice. Easy. Bear with me, I gotta grab my cleaner. Okay, so that's done. I cleaned off my stamp, and now I'm gonna come in with the Calypso Coral. Um, I think I'm gonna go like this. And I'm just gonna do a little bit here. And there is no perfect placing of these colors. It's just kind of wherever you think that that color fits in really well. So now I'm inking up with my Peekaboo Peach. And I'm just going to do a little bit here. And I'm going to kind of come in through the middle here over the top of the ones that we already uh, stamped. Okay, so now I have my splotches stamped on here, and I suppose you're wondering how I'm going to get it to run. Well, I'm going to use a Stampin' Spritzer filled with just water, and all I'm going to do is spray this paper a little bit, and then to get the colors to run, I'm kind of waving it around here to get all the colors to mix together a little bit. And 
and now we get a muted version of these colors. You can see we have a little bit of ink on our embossed letters. If you don't like that, you know, all I did was just kind of went over it with my finger to clean some of that ink off. You could use a baby wipe if you wanted to be a bit more precise with that. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to dry this paper with my heat tool. We want to make sure it's good and dry because we're going to be going back over it with our Celebrations Duo embossing folder so that we can really make that happy just kind of pop out of this card. didn't take long it's nice and dry see how muted those colors are and they've kind of run together so now I'm going to take my <clears throat> happy from the celebrations jewel one is happy and one says celebrate and I'm going to let's see I want the image to be debossed so I'm going to line this up right with my white embossed sentiment on there. I'm going to stick this in my big shot and run that through. Sorry, I bumped my camera stand a bit. Hope you didn't get too seasick there. So now we've got this um, embossed, and can't you just already tell on the video here how this kind of sticks up a lot better? It's easier to see. So the next thing I want to do is come in and stamp the So Very and For You. And I want to use kind of a bold, bright color to catch your eye. So I'm going to go in with my So Very. And I need to bring out more of this pool party. So I'm going to stamp the For You here on a scrap of Pool Party. Oh, I don't like that. I must have pressed a little too hard on my stamp when I was inking it. There, that's cleaner. And then I'm just going to trim this up with my scissors. and make a little banner out of it. If you don't have the banner punch on these smaller pieces, um, it's really easy to make a banner. You just, you come in from the end, you make a straight cut up the middle, and then you come in from each of the corners. And I'm gonna put that right there on my card. So let me grab a dimensional so I can pop that on there. And you know, just to make sure it's nice and even, I'm just gonna use two of these dimensionals. Stick it down there, that kind of brings out that pool party color. And we are gonna want our dragonfly on there, but I'm gonna wait till the end to bring him in. Oh yeah, when you are, um, Flipping your car around, card around, be careful because look, I got some spots on my vellum. I should have moved that out of the way. Okay, so I've got my card base. I've got my designer series paper here. And I've got the vellum that's going to go over the top of it. And then I've got this front piece that's going to go over the top of that. So what I'm actually going to do 
is glue down my top piece first. And I'm using liquid glue because I am not a perfectionist and I can never get this stuff right the first time. What I'm doing here is I'm doing this piece first because when I glue the designer series paper down, I don't want any of my glue to stick up. So as long as I have this glued down, I know that I can glue in the same place that um, this is covering so that the glue won't be sticking out over any of these edges. And so I'm just going to stick some glue there. And I think I'm going to want this centered a bit so that we're just kind of seeing a peak of this DSP behind it. And now I wanted this to kind of pop out of my card front, so I'm going to use dimensionals to secure it. And now I've showed you this trick before, but to get the backs to come off of your dimensionals, you can just stick your fingernail in the center here, which kind of raises the edges, and it makes it so easy for these to pop right off. All right, I'm going to center this on my card front, like so. And now I'm going to attach my dragonfly. And for my dragonfly, I'm just going to come in on the edge and use one of these half dimensionals. I'm going to stick it on the thick part of his body here. And then to see where I want to put him. I think I like him going this way. So I'm just going to stick him right on there. And then if you want, you can just create a little more uh, texture uh, by flicking your Many Marvelous Markers with some ink. So I've used some Pool Party here, and I want to bring in more of that Pool Party um, so that it can coordinate really well with this blue um, scrap that I have here. So... All you do is kind of flick it against the lid of your marker, and we're done. That card is just gorgeous, and it's so easy to put together. And that's why I wanted to do this video, so you could truly see how easy it is. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can check out more of my projects on my blog countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. You can also find me on Facebook. If you have any questions, I always answer the messages as quickly as I can. And my Facebook is Country Cards by Rose. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.